Hello everyone! Good morning! I feel like I haven't vlogged in a minute. I'm happy to vlog. I have so many things to tell you. <sighs> I need my Play-Doh. First of all, I feel like if you watch my vlogs, probably you know me and you're a real follower and probably you've noticed that in the past two, three weeks, my channel has grown up a lot. <laughs> I mean, a lot. A lot. And I'm so happy about it. I'm thinking about some changes and I'm thinking about what you can expect from my channel. I think I will keep vlogging in English because I know that you guys follow my channel because you want to improve your English and practice a little bit. I'll keep vlogging in English. But I think I'll make videos about, you know, cultural topics in Italian so that everybody in Italy can understand. Then it's, oh my God, I'm allergic. I'm still in Malta and in Malta the weather is getting better and hotter but I don't have my allergy medicine here and I'm really really allergic to pollen which is really bad during COVID because every time you sneeze even though you have a mask everybody's like and I try not to sneeze and I sneeze internally which is terrible because you feel like you're exploding this is our new not so new Maltese house we used to have a very beautiful beautiful bright little studio in the city center but we decided to change because as you know we needed more space to work this apartment I think I have some clips from the day we moved this is our little kitchen and here it's a very cluttered couch Brian is up there hello Brian what's good baby how's hey. the loft if I'm done for today you're working out like I'm secretly hiding in a food like chest in my <laughs> it's I like it now here we have our bedroom here we have the bathroom So definitely, this is a bigger apartment, way more comfortable for our jobs, but it has a big problem. It's not bright at all. We're on the first floor and there's another building so close to our window and we literally can't see the sky. So it's so dark that even though it's literally, what time is it, baby? 10.30. 10.30 a.m. Our lights are on. Scoot over. Okay, my little husband on my channel. Husband, this is the first vlog since we left the old house. They don't know anything. They don't know how our last month in Malta was. <sighs> Guys, the day we signed the contract to stay one more month in Malta. <laughs> yes, this in Japan is like money. It's like coins and bills. The day we signed the contract is the day that Malta decided to close everything. Yes! Restaurants, only takeout or delivery. Museums, shops, all shops except for grocery stores and pharmacies. Everything is closed. But there is no curfew. We can still go out around the island. We can still go to the beach, take a walk, stuff like that. What would you say we've, we've mainly done so far this second month? We've made our second month a nature month, meaning since we can't go to places, we just go to outdoors places, beaches, go for a walk, more beaches, <laughs> sit on the rocks, walk around, that's it. Yup. And guys, you know I don't usually really like to lay out or go to the beach. In Mata it wasn't too bad because more than half of the time we were on rocks, so no sand. I hate sand. <laughs> and the weather, it wasn't too hot really, it wasn't. It was, if anything, not hot enough. Since they closed everything, we finally gave up. We're at the beach, <laughs> fully clothed. Crazy people over there, I, like really it's not that hot. I have very sensitive pink light skin. <laughs> pink, you're pink. If you have skin like me, this is your best friend. But you didn't bring it. Good thing I have my baby. Sometimes I would be at the beach, but with my hoodie on. Oh, one thing you haven't seen, maybe I have some footage. If I find something interesting, I'll put it here. But the first week, we went to visit the three cities in Malta. Who's ready to go to three cities? Me! Who's ready to go to three cities? Me! The three cities are literally three small, small towns, all connected near each other. They're super close to Valletta and you can get there by ferry. 
Intermezzo. We're having a lunch break. Brian was hungry. He got two kebabs. One no. and two. There. Let me tell you something about Sonia. If she's vlogging, you will never eat a meal without <laughs> the camera. Don't worry, just eat. Eat. <laughs> this is an avocado maki. See you later. Oh, we're not leaving. We're watching you eat this. <laughs> I might stand here recording your entire meal. So nice to have you here while I'm eating. So guys, this is Sonia eating. Ah, beautiful. <laughs> I know, it's like it's hiding a very beautiful view. This is still very, very beautiful, but I know that if all the restaurants and cafes were open and people were having coffee and chatting, it would be even, even better, but I'm not complaining, just saying. Why are you complaining? I'm not, I'm just saying. <laughs> Brian is terrible at carrying things. Like if he has his phone, he needs to blow his nose. He's like, Sonia, hold my phone. Like he cannot do anything when he's holding something. And now he has to hold his jacket and our lunch. The leftovers <sighs> must be so difficult. In the meantime, I have my backpack, my jacket, my phone, my camera. <sighs> That day, luckily, we could still visit museums and then they closed all museums for the rest of our stay in Malta. But apparently, Brian's new thing for that day was telling me that I was short because they have tall walls at the fort. Guys, I'm not short. Okay, there's something I have to say about Malta because I've said only good things so far. The customer service is not the best. Just now, we were passing by a museum and there was a couple, a lady working there and like a man and they were yelling at each other. I mean, but it's not only that. Even at restaurants, like sometimes they don't even look at you, they don't even say hi, it's just like, what do you want? Then we visited a lot of natural, beautiful places. What, which was your favorite natural beauty in Malta? Probably Say, Comino. Comino. We showed Comino in the previous vlog, but we went back there because we liked it too much. You would love Sardinia. Blue Grotto was cool too. We couldn't really visit Blue Grotto with a boat. It was close. But near Blue Grotto, I finally touched the water for the first time and it was freezing cold and full of jellyfish. We saw St. Peter's pool. That was nice, that, that was, was nice. Maybe you have some pictures. Some Are pictures. you gonna be editing this with like clips? Or is this just like one long non-stop chatter? Because if it is, that's risky. I am trying to edit this with some nice clips. When I do edit like this way, it's always time consuming, so please appreciate it. One thing we did a lot, a lot, is eating on benches. First Maltese pizza. I know you hate it when I do it. Because <laughs> guys, one thing you can do in Malta is order your food, buy your food and then eat on a bench. Okay, now I need to teach for a little bit. Later this afternoon, I want to go out. All right, All right. peace See out. See you later. I worked a little bit, I taught, I edited, and then I made pasta. I am usually the cook of the family and Brian is the dishwasher of the family. We're done with our morning lessons and it's 2.30 and I wanna go out to enjoy a little bit of nature because we have some lessons in the afternoon and I want to clean this house because it's a mess. You ready? I was born ready. Mm-hmm. What are you doing? I'm waiting for you, born ready. What's up guys, this is Brian, special voiceover guest here. Now look, Malta is beautiful for its nature. I mean, look at that sea. But it also has a lot of history and art. One of the best and coolest places we went to is called Hajar Kim. And listen to that perfect Maltese accent. That place was incredible, right, son? Right. 
I'm from Rome and I should be used to seeing old places. Kind of am. But this is way older than what we have in Rome. And it's way more mysterious. You know? How did they do it? What was the technology? What was the purpose? Malta has something cool. Do you see these dots? First of all, you, it kind of gives me like a weird feeling. I don't know why, but I don't like to look at them. But maybe they use the dots to count the days. It's like a little calendar. Who knows, maybe days, maybe weeks. Look at that. I'm going to tell you something crazy Brian did the other day. We were walking here, just walking. We saw these stairs and we went right there. We went right there. And Brian was like, if we go back to Italy and I haven't gone in the water once, I will consider it a failure. You want to tell the story? You're too tall. I was fully clothed, but I took off my everything except for my boxers. And I was like, one, two, three and I just jumped in. <laughs> Do you want to say anything? Because probably now I'm gonna play the video. Enjoy. How is it? Nice? Kind of. Salty as water, I'm very cold. You did it. So I didn't make you happy. Yes. Unless you die. Not that bad now. You're enjoying it, huh? You want to stay? We are like literally... I don't I'm know. Really here now, aren't I? Okay, so how was it? Glad you did it? Yes, don't regret it at all. I don't really care. Brian was like, you want to do it? I was like, no. Nope. I have some food regrets. Like if I hadn't tried the Maltese Fitra or if I hadn't tried the sesame dessert here, like I would have been like, oh, what a shame. Food regrets, not water nature regrets. Usually, Brian takes care of the dishes and the bathroom. I really hate, 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 hate to clean the bathroom. I will dust and clean like all the surfaces. I will broom because we don't have a vacuum cleaner here. <gasps> Guys, I had never realized how important a vacuum cleaner is before this trip because I've always had a vacuum cleaner. Whoever finishes first will mop. And this is it for now. cooking it's like nine what time is it 9.04 I finished my last lesson four minutes ago I am weirdly tired really today I didn't work too much for my standard but I guess I spent a lot of time editing and stuff so thank you so much for watching I hope this video was useful and I look very pale I think it's time for me to eat something and go to sleep. Thank you guys. Brian, you have to say it. Hey, one love, one life. We in here, we out. Chill. We get up, we get down, we turn around, Not we this. flip that shit upside down. It's got to block. Thank ya. Babe, uh, wait, open your eyes. I'm trying. Uh, this is how you open your eyes? This is Brian in the spring. That's I know. why I don't like the spring. And also mosquito bites everywhere. I know. And this is me. Like, I'm literally crying. Because I sneeze so much because I'm allergic. Look at my face. And people think that I'm sick. I'm not sick. I'm just very allergic. My eyes are not red, but, but I feel like I have a little. We are relaxing and it's literally not hot at all. I'm even considering wearing my sweatshirt, and Brian's like, it's so hot. Se non vi gerisci che ho pagato le mie rime adesso.